Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I heard this prophetic word so clear. And now let's take it gradually. Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please, if you've seen me for your very first time, my name is Ethel Betangba, and this is prayer and the prophetic with Pastor Ethel. You are very much welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The title of this prophetic word says, You are in your season. If you miss it, you have missed it. I say it again. The title of this particular prophetic word says, You are in your season. If you miss it, you have missed it. You must be very careful not to miss the plan of God for us. We must be very careful not to miss the promises of God for us. We must be very careful not to miss what God has orchestrated for us. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now, in the book of Ecclesiastes, by the Bible states it categorically clear about timing for everything. Season for everything. Time for every purpose. Season for everything. Time for every purpose. Season for everything. There are things that you're not supposed to do now. There are things that you're supposed to do now. <clears throat> Excuse me, please. Thank you, Lord. There are things you're not supposed to do now. There are things you're supposed to do now. There are things you're supposed to, to, to stay and wait on God. Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 31, the Bible says, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. You know, in throughout, I'll still say it again. And after I've, I've been saying that throughout this particular season, God has been speaking to me about restoration. Restoration. Now, what is restoration? Restoration is the act of you receiving what you lost in time past. Restoration is the act of you receiving what you lost, maybe out of ignorance, what the devil stole from you, what somebody stole from you. You know, the restoration power of God is so, so strong. I'm telling you the gospel truth. When God wants to restore you, he will do it. Now, because we are humans, when God restores us, sometimes we don't see it as restoration. Now, why do I say because we are humans and sometimes when God restores us, we don't see it as restoration. Why? Because your human mind always takes you back to what you lost. Your human mind always takes you back to what was stolen from you. That is what happens. Now, I give you this amazing example. If $1,000 was stolen from you or you lost $1,000. And then God wants to restore you of the $1,000 that you lost or that was stolen from you. Now, what happens is he will restore you and either give you the $1,000 or 1500 1100 1000 and I don't know. However, God wants to restore you. Now, once the Lord restores you and give you what you lost or what was stolen from you, what happens is sometimes the human mind sits and say, I wish that I still had that $1,000. I would have added it to this one and it probably would have made it $2,000 or $2,000 plus. Dollars. Now, not knowing that maybe if you did not lost that $1,000 or if the $1,000 was not stolen from you, you will not have gotten this particular open doors or this particular opening. So that is what a lot of people go through. A lot of people... Because we are humans, we go through that. 
I have somebody stole a use some money from me, and I believe that the Lord restored me. But I think about that money most of the times, and I tell myself, I wish this person did not steal that from me. I would have been this amount of money richer. You know why? Because we are human. But that as of the time God restored me, that was my season of restoration. I've never had that season again in my life. I've never had that entire um moments again in my life i'm hoping i'm praying that god does that again for me some other time i don't know how he's going to do it but i've never had that again happen to me now which means god made it happen because he wanted to encourage me and restore me so that was just purely restoration and probably if this person did not steal that from me probably i would not have gone through that season of that restoration so god remains god and he's a just god and somebody's saying right now that the lost and something was stolen from them and they did not receive restoration and do you want the person i'm talking about right now that this is your season if you miss it you have missed it you have I'll, I'll, I'll say it this way this is your season if you miss it you have successfully done one thing you have successfully missed it and you must be very sensitive to ensure that you will not miss your season if i'm speaking to you please type it on the comment section connect yourself make that confession say i will not miss my season i will not miss my season Type it as you're connecting yourself. Make that confession. Say, I will not miss my season. You will not miss your season. Ah, oh, Kalabro Shataya. I will not miss my season. You will not miss your season. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You will testify to the glory of God. God will restore you. God will bring your blessings. And I will restore unto you all what the canker worms, the palmer worms, the caterpillar has eaten from you. And I will bring amongst you my great army. Restoration comes with knowledge and protection. Hallelujah. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Please do not forget to like. Do not forget to share. And if you haven't subscribed, what really are you waiting for? Please subscribe and become an amazing part of this particular family. Please always keep praying for me as the Spirit of the Lord to lead you. Call my name, please, in the place of your prayer. Keep interceding for me. Keep praying for me. Keep trusting God for me. Thank you so much for your love and your sacrifices. Hallelujah. Now, may the Lord bless you. Keep you, cast his face to shine in you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken in the mighty name of Jesus. By the special grace of God, I'll see you in our next prayer session and prophetic word. I love you so, so much. I love you. God bless you amazingly and God bless you abundantly. Shalom.